We are back here on the Lynn Hayes Freeland Show, and I got I got the get interview. It's Ed Ganey, state representative, made huge news. I want to go back to your story only because when you talk about your experience, your growing up, community college, your mom, all of those things, though, come together and make you then this person that can connect or relate to a lot of the things that your constituents are talking about. Absolutely. Um, you know, like I said, when I came home, when I got to Morgan State, the first day I went to Morgan State University, the professor asked me, what was I doing in class? And I said, well, you teaching? Her response was, your lesson is not in this classroom. It's with your classmates. We got to save Morgan State and keep an historical black college and university. Um, and back then in the 80s, then, you know, we wasn't marching and stuff in Pittsburgh, mm -hmm. so I really didn't understand. And we marched all the way downtown, and the first politician I ever met in my life was the African-American mayor by the name of Kurt Smoke. Oh, yeah. And, and Mayor Smoke helped us keep Morgan State a traditional HBCU. And that's when the light bulb went off that, wow, the power of politics can have an impound impact on how we save lives. Not only save lives, but how we empower people, how we empower cities. And so when I came home, what I wanted to do was learn community development. And East Liberty Development was closed at the time because of the racial tension. A gentleman by the name of Wheeler Winstead was going to open it back up. And I went to him and I said, Mr. Wheeler, I'll work for free because I know y'all don't have no money if you teach me community development. Mm. But when y'all get some money, you know, do pay me. <laughs> but, you know, until then, my payment is your knowledge. And he taught me community development. I went to work for a state rep and two mayors. And when I first went to my first mayor was Mayor Tom Murphy. And I always looked at the mayor's office as an institution of higher learning. So when I went there, there's a book, an old book called The Spook Who Sat By The Door. Oh, yeah. So when they would throw papers away, I would go get them and I would read them. Even if it wasn't nothing, it informed me. I kept a file on every elected official and every development in this region because I wanted to understand how public policy impacted neighborhoods, which end up impacting the quality of life. So I studied it for years that I was with Murphy. Then when I went to run for state rep, I'm sorry, Mayor Murphy. Mm -hmm. Then when I went to run for, uh, work for a state representative, I mean, I'm sorry, when I went to run for state representative, first two times wasn't to my favor. The third time I had built myself up because I never quit. So when you say do people underestimate me, I don't know. I don't know. What I do know is that I have a work ethic that says every day that you get up, don't take you for granted. Hmm. Don't ever take you for granted. Because the day you take you for granted, you allow them to influence who you are. Wow. And I don't want that. Powerful. I, I feel like I need to just let that sit and marinate for just a second. I don't, before we run out of time. So here we are. So the election was Tuesday. We're actually recording this show on Wednesday. Obviously, it's our Sunday show, so it'll it'll air on Sunday. What happens from here? Uh, you got November to look forward to. Right now, there's no one on the Republican side. The only way they can get someone on that ballot is a write-in. What do you do how do you where, how do you direct your energies between now and then, not knowing what that means? Continue to get prepared. Um, not looking to see what's going on over here, not looking to see what's going on over here, but staying laser focused on being prepared. So what does that mean? Making sure that our transitional team is good and beginning to talk to my team about how do we select a transitional team that will put the best and wisest people in place to help move our objective forward. Mm -hmm. That's where I'm focused at because the transitional team will lead to a good administrative team, which will, meet, which will lead to an execution of how we improve this city. When we do that, then we improve the city and made it a city for all. Ed Ganey, congratulations. Uh, thanks so much for taking the time for talking with us. And guess what? We're going to do this again. So just, just so you know. Uh -huh. Pick yes, ma'am. Lynn, you already know. <laughs> hey, thank you, Lynn. Thanks for everything. Uh, yeah, thank you. Have a great evening. All right, you too.